Who are you? Tell the truth. Tell the truth. So Will Smith decides to go head to head with the NFL. This guy can do any role. I'm Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. So Concussion is directed by Peter Lansman. This is his second time in the director's chair. His first bout was in 2013 with Parkland, which followed the events leading right after the Kennedy assassination in Dallas. But this time he teams up with Will Smith and Alec Baldwin as they try to get behind where all these concussions are coming from with the NFL. Now when the film starts off, I love the way we were introduced to Will Smith's character, Dr. Bennett Amalu. It doesn't waste any time and it answers the questions of who is this guy? Where does he come from? What is his credentials? And how can he benefit this ongoing epidemic? And instantly you fall in love with Bennett Amalu. He's very intelligent, has all these degrees. When he's taking on these corporate giants in the NFL, he's not going to be disrespected. You're not going to push him over. He knows how to choose his battles wisely. And he's just going to say, look, you're going to listen to what I have to say, whether you like it or you don't. And don't interrupt me when I'm talking. That's disrespectful. I love characters like this. And this is another great reason why you need to see this film. I was really impressed also with Alec Baldwin's and David Morris's portrayal in the film. David Morris played Mike Webster, a retired NFL player. And that's where things pick up. His performance was great. I was very shocked. I can't remember the last time I seen him explode on the film like he did with Concussion. Alec Baldwin also did a great job with the supporting role. He just wanted to do what's right and realize some of the decisions that he made in the past weren't the best. And the film asked the question, why are these NFL players after they retire going crazy? It just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't add up. And that's where the story starts to get good. And Dr. Bennett Amalu, he's not the devil just going out trying to crush people's dreams. He's just doing his everyday job as a pathologist and something falls into his lap in his daily routine. And it just doesn't make sense to him. It just doesn't add up. He doesn't just want to write it off and move on to the next case. He wants to get to the bottom of it and see why this is going on and why it ticks. And I do love the story that is being told. You have two sides here. Dr. Bennett Amalu, who wants to do the right thing, and all the NFL giants who don't want change. And you can't really blame the NFL for not wanting change. I mean, they've been around for a long time. They have a lot of doctors that are tackling this matter, and they have found no evidence to suggest that you can get concussions or a severe brain damage from the NFL. But at the same time, it is so annoying because they want to turn a blind eye to some evidence that's pointed to them. Yes, it's a hard pill to swallow, but eventually you have to face the truth. And that's what's appealing about the story. As far as the direction goes with the film, I love the way Peter Landsman handled it. It has a good balance of bouncing back and forth from the film and real life content. And the way it all came together was beautiful. And this film does not hold any punches. Unintentionally, it does go after the NFL, not to just bring them down, but to bring to light some of the issues that they may have known in the past and just tried to sweep under the rug. It was really intriguing and got me on board even more than I already was. The director was also able to tie in the editing very nice and tight. The way he would show footage of football players colliding back and forth, going up and down the field with dialogue in the background by NFL commissioners and directors and whatnot. It really hit home and had a powerful impact. The only negatives that I have to say about the film is possibly Will Smith's accent kind of slipping in and out, but he did give a phenomenal performance. There was at least two or three scenes where I was almost in tears just because his passion alone and him wanting to do the right thing and him being frustrated because initially he's constantly being ignored. Also, there was a few aspects of the film that I wanted it to address, but it didn't. It did hit nearly every head that I wanted, but I wanted to see more of the repercussions of Dr. Bennett Amalu's research when he presented this to the NFL and or the world. If I had to rate this film out of a one out of 10, I would give it a nine out of 10. Yes, a nine out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Concussion? Do you wanna see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? 
Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide in the past and in the future. Also, if you want to check me out on other platforms, you can head over to the website. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and all that good stuff. And guys, share the video. I'm not going to get mad if you share the video, but thank you for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.